guys, and welcome back to Film Excitement. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great day, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how Amber Heard was caught using movie scenes in her testimony. But before we do begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and of course, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's get right into this one. Supporters of Johnny Depp accuse Amber Heard of dramatizing her testimony in the former couple's ongoing defamation trial by quoting famous movies. On the other hand, others argue that the comparisons are a stretch. Alana Mastrolangelo of Breitbart News tweeted a video comparing Heard's testimony this week to a scene from the 1999 film, The Talented Mr. Replay. She wrote, Amber Heard, when I was around, Johnny, I felt like the most beautiful person in the world. Then he would disappear. Mastrangelo then pulled a Mr. Ripley line. The thing with Dickie, it's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious. Then he forgets you and it's very cold. One person commented in response to the comparison. She actually copied her testimony from one person and not just one person, but a lot more films. It's on YouTube. She's copying a Julia Roberts film and a few others. When she said Johnny said he'd rather cut off his hand, that was from a movie too. Meanwhile, podcaster Not Skinny But Not Fat pointed out on Instagram that Jennifer Garner used a similar quote about her ex-husband Ben in the past. The 13 going on 30 star told Vanity Fair in 2016 of her children's father, I always say, when his sun shines on you, you'll feel it. But when the sun is shining elsewhere, it's cold. He can cast quite a shadow. Maestro Langelo, on the other hand, was convinced that Heard was inspired by a number of films, noting that the actress's reference to a dirty carpet after Depp allegedly hit her was reminiscent of scenes from Netflix's Maid. She also highlighted Heard's claim that Depp once told her, I'd rather cut my hand off than ever lay it upon you. As similar to a line from the 1945 drama Mildred Pierce, in which the star says, I'd rather have cut off my hand. Reps for her declined to comment on the movie quote debate. Depp's legal team, on the other hand, appears to believe the Aquaman star is putting on a show to the stand. As their defamation trial continues, Johnny Depp's legal team called Amber Heard's testimony the performance of her life. A spokesperson for the Pirates of the Caribbean star said in a statement to Page Six, as Mr. Depp's counsel correctly predicted in their opening statements last month, Ms. Heard did indeed deliver the performance of her life, according to the representative. While their client's recollections have remained exactly the same throughout the six painful years since her first allegations were made, the rep then said, His truth, the truth. It's the same no matter what the environment is, in which it has been presented. According to the spokesperson, the upcoming cross-examination from Duff's team, which will take place right after court resumes May 16th, will particularly be telling and will undoubtedly highlight the numerous policies Miss Heard has now attempted to pass off as fact throughout her tangled testimony. Heard's rep, whom she recently hired following an litany of unfavorable headlines when her prior PR team was in charge, told Page Six in response, as evidenced by the statement just released, Mr. Depp was in defamation claims for falling apart so rapidly that his counsels are turning from a prosecutor to a persecutor. The rep then also said, they boast that Mr. Depp's story has not changed. If so, then since he lost the domestic violence restraining order and he resoundedly lost the libel case in the UK, perhaps he should consider a new strategy rather than the recycled approach of attacking the victim and refusing to take responsibility for his own conduct. The actress spokesman then referenced an audio recording that was played for the jury Wednesday in which Heard asked Depp, is the monster gone? Did you put him away? The rep said, if Mr. Depp was truly innocent, why has he repeatedly apologized to Miss Heard and promised to put the monster away for good? Depp, according to Heard's published, lacks the fortitude or courage to look at his ex-wife while she testifies, 
instead doodles and Snickers. The spokesperson then concluded Mr. Depp's apparently behavior in this trial has been pitiful as it was in their marriage as well. The rep then added that they feel they must double down on their demons travel, losing two-part strategy, distract the jury, and demonize the victim. And that's all we have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, then sure make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification bells so you never miss out on any of our future content that we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!